everyone salesforce shorts here in this video we'll be looking at lightning email templates so first let's head over to the setup and then we're gonna make sure lightning email templates are enabled so we want to search for email templates you see there's classic that's the old email templates but lightning is new email templates so we want to work with these ones make sure this toggle is ticked here if this is ticked then you can go to app launcher and we can search email and we'll find email templates so that is the app from here we can create some really nice email templates okay i'm just going to call this new template I uh, can have it related to the account then I'll have the subject just as test we can enter letter heads here but I'm gonna leave that out for this video I'll make a video on uh, letter heads at a later point so in here we have an HTML view so if you have some HTML you can drag it drag it in here uh, but you don't have to have that we can have hello and then have some text over here and you can do your alignment you can make this bold make bring in some list views you can even drag in some pictures in here so there's quite a lot of functionality for this but obviously um, to make it easier we can use HTML you can do some really nice things with the HTML bring in some styling if you'd like so I just copied some HTML so I'm just gonna paste that in here and then our email template would look like this okay the picture is just not pulling through so I'm just going to delete that piece okay Oh, now I've saved the, the email template but let's just go back to edit it so yeah here we want to have it personalized so what we would have to do is enter these merge fields so from here we can go to recipient so we want to enter the recipient's first name so we'll see here first name and that will be from a lead or a contact okay so because usually you would select a a contact when you send out an email and then same we can do the same here at the bottom best regards and then we can just copy this then have the name there again so this just makes it very easier and this also saves a lot of time instead of having to type out the person's name with each email you can create a personalized template and use it over and over again so this really helps with sending out quick emails okay so let me save this now so here is our email template so that was quite quick and easy and I can use this email over and over again so we can now go to accounts or contacts where we can send actually send the email so I'm not really going to send one out now but I will just show the process of sending one out so here we can choose who we want to send it to so you can type an email there or select it from a contact you can see it's related to this account now if I send it from here and then what we so what you would do to bring in our template now we would go to insert template and then it is new template so let's override insert that boom it also it picks up our subject and we can also so we have that template here but before sending we can also change whatever we'd like so that, you know gives you more uh, functionality on that that then that's really handy so you don't have to use the template exact you can change it a bit if you want if you want to do that before you send out you can also attach links here or insert images from this point point. and yeah that's then how you send out your 
your email template. I hope this guy, this uh, video helped you guys. Please make sure to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.